Hello everybody, so in this video we are gonna be evolving our Poochie, our shiny Poochie to Sea Moon. Alright, so what you'll be needing to evolve our shiny Poochie or your Poochie, what you'll be needing to do is to countlessly defeat the brand new Cape Canaveral map, infinite mode map. And once you do that, you'll obtain a Geobone where you'll be needing to defeat 36 bosses. So the quickest way is to just do it in an infinite mode. And yeah, the Cape Canaveral infinite mode map. And once you've gotten yourself 36 Sinner Souls, you can use it and you will receive a green baby. So what this green baby you must ask? Well, this green baby can be used to evolve your very own Poochie, your very own Seamoon. All right, let's use it. Let's go use. And we're gonna select the shiny Poochie. And all right, look at that, Poochie New Moon. Oh, oh my God, the next <laughs> evolve, we need to, is that defeat 10,000 Sinner Soul? Oh my, that's a lot of Sinner Souls. So yeah, so let's go ahead and showcase you guys this very new Poochie New Moon unit. And yeah, so he is shiny, which is pretty pog. I got him shiny, so I'm quite lucky myself. So he is a magic type unit, and he is a brand new unit in this update 8. Let's go ahead and showcase you guys this brand new shiny evolved Poochie shiny e moon pretty pog in this brand new update 8. All right. So it did take me a very long time to evolve Poochie to Poochie's new moon for you guys. But do not worry, we will find out whether if he is a good unit to go for. Yeah, let's go everybody. Okay, let's go find out what this brand new Poochie sea moon is about. So. Okay, first off, this is what he looks like. And I'm still so confused on why his cost money is literally so weird. Like 1,753, bro. It's so uneven. It bothers me so much. But anyway, let's take a look at this. Oh my, okay. So what's his name again? Poochie New Moon. Not Sea Moon, but yeah, New Moon. That's pretty pog. Let's go. Oh, wow. I do not know if the animation, animation has changed, but it looks so pog, bro. Looks very pog. Okay, so far, so far, so good. He seems like a good unit, especially look at that damage. 5,519 on his base stats already, which is quite overpower, I must say. And we will find out by the end of this video if he's worth getting. All right, let me just upgrade my money makers. Nice. Oh, yeah, while we are upgrading our money makers, I do want to say, how are you guys finding this brand new update? Is it good? Is it bad? Is it mid? Is it too grindy? I would love to know what you guys think about it because I'm still so upset on how um I'm still quite upset on how grindy this brand new update is. It's not even a joke at this point. Like it's just too grindy. That it's fine though. I can live up to that. Just me thinking about you guys not needing to grind. So it's just making me feel better. It's just like okay, if I'll just suffer for you guys if you know what I mean. <laughs> All right. So how much does he cost? Okay, we can upgrade him right now. So his base stats is 5,519 with a 6.8 seconds ability cooldown and 23.1 range. I do want to point out that I do have myself a strength trait on our Poochie New Moon. So if my stats is stronger, like a lot stronger than yours, that may be the reason why. Okay, let's go ahead and upgrade our Poochie New Moon. Okay, upgrade one. Now his brand new stats is 900, not 900, 9,659 damage with a 6.3 seconds ability cooldown and 24.2 range. All right, next upgrade. At upgrade 2, his brand new damage is now 13,799 with a 6.3 seconds ability cooldown and 25.2 range. And when we get into upgrade 3, he will unlock a brand new ability called Negation Shot. Let's take a look at this. Oh, it's an AoE cone. Yo. Pog? Pog, bro? Sheesh, that's a brand new animation right there. Let's go. Okay. So his brand new stats is 17,839 with a 5.8 seconds ability cooldown and 26.3 range. All right, upgrade four. His brand new stats is now 23,459 with a 5.8 seconds ability cooldown and 27.3 range. All right, next upgrade. 
His brand new stats is now 34,498 with a 5.8 seconds ability cooldown and 28.4 range. Okay, upgrade 6. Sheesh, bro, sheesh. Alright. His brand new stats is now 41,398 with a 5.4 seconds ability cooldown and 29.4 range. And at upgrade 7, he will unlock a brand new ability called Gravity inversion all right let's take a look at what this ability is going to do so right now he's a burst type unit which i don't really ride i don't really like burst type units i like multi-hit units but anyway let's take a look at this brand new ability of his oh it's a burst type oh i kind of like a multi-hit but it's just like a two-time multi-hit if that makes sense like it's not really your typical shield breaker, but it hits twice. Which you guys can see, which is pretty pog. Alright, his brand new stats is now 55,197 with a 5.4 seconds ability cooldown and 30.5 range. Alright, next upgrade. His brand new stats is now 60,717 with a 4.9 seconds ability cooldown and 31.5 range. Okay, next upgrade. And that was his max upgrade. Sheesh, alright. So his stats at max upgrade and max level sits at 68,897 damage with a 4.9 seconds ability cooldown and 33.6 range. Let me just calculate his DPS really quickly and find out on how strong this guy really is. So 68,997 divided by 4.9 seconds. And it's... Oh, 14,000 damage per second. What the heck? He is definitely a must-have unit and essential to have on this brand new update 8. All right, now let's go ahead and apply the Sakura buff on him. All right, so 68,000 to 75,000 damage. Oh my, oh my. Oh my lord, let's go. Alright, now let's go ahead and apply Kisoko Bankai uh, buff on him. So as you guys can see, 4.9 seconds ability cooldown and 33.6 range. And once we apply Kisoko buff, it's gonna be... 4.4 seconds ability cooldown and 40.3 range. Sheesh. Alright, let me just calculate his brand new DPS right now as we speak. So 75,896 divided by 4.4 and it's... 17,249.09 He's actually silver power. Alright, let's see on how many can we place. Is it three still? Alright, it is still still three. So he does have another evolution. So he's like an Aizen 2.0. And uh, yeah, but I I think Aizen is better, but we will find out once we have actually fully evolve him all right since he is a magic type unit the only buff unit that works on him is takura kisoko and wenda since wenda buff units that are magic types all right let's go ahead and upgrade her okay we don't even need to upgrade her bro all right let's activate the ability sky enchantment so when you activate this ability uh, the magic type units gets buffed 30 percent of their magic even though it says right there that their stats are not increasing, but do not worry. When you hover the unit, it says right there that they're being buffed 30%. And let's just do a quick example. So Kisoko Banka is a physical type unit, but when we buff him, I believe... Oh, it still shows, but he is a physical type unit, so it's useless for him. But anyway, that wraps it up for today's showcase on Pucci New Moon. He is the very brand new unit on this update 8 and i must say we come into a conclusion that he is a must-have especially his damage per second sitting at 14,000 damage already which is a pretty overpowered and this is his first form and the next form is his last one so i'm actually looking forward to that so make sure you guys to stay subscribed or if you have not subscribed yet subscribe right now so you guys don't miss out on me evolving new moon Pucci New Moon, and for you guys to showcase. So yeah, thank you all so much for watching this video. If you guys did enjoy this showcase video, do let me know by colossal smashing that like button, subscribe, and do all of those jazz, and I will see you later, everybody. Goodbye. Bye-bye. Pog.